Well, I'm back for another boot sale at Torbay Car Boot. It's Saturday morning. Looks like there's a good number of stalls here already. It's 6 a.m. And this is how I earn a living. I go out, I pick stuff, and I put it online to try and make a little bit of profit. Let's see what we can find today. How much are your boots, you're right? Five. Five. I'll take those two, please. I'll take this one for now. All right, mate. A few bits here a day, different prices. All right, mate. Speakers. There's some all sorts of stuff here. All the brand new stuff this week. Have a look. Put it all in the heat. I'll sort you out a price. All right. Three quid there. That, Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. We'll come back in a bit. I'll get some more. Will do. How much is that one? Pretty good, isn't it? I've got a game shop. I'm pretty, I'm pretty up to what I'm doing. Cheers. No worries. How much is your wee bundle? It's a complete bundle. I've got all the other sort of like bits and bobs that go with it in here. Okay. Including two uh, the uh, sense of motion ones. I didn't actually want that much for it. I thought 50 quid for the whole lot. 50? Yeah. How, how much is the, the router? Brand new, I bought it for a project I've never used. It's still sealed up. I didn't want 50 for it. Yeah. It's a spare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, well, I, I, it's an old, I think it's an old drying oven for a uh, oh, yeah. scientific piece. If you, if you open that up, you can see the inside. I think it must have been for actually the, the drawings that like a sensitive uh, pages that you had to um that you couldn't actually you couldn't drive with the major plane because of the two holes. How much are those? Solid copper, it's very old. Yeah. Even that that little hand of paper How much are your games? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You could have a lot for uh, 15 quid. 15. Ooh. Do you want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. 
What does it say on How the plate? Is that, that one. Um, I'll oh, just two pounds for that one. Two. Yeah, two yeah. pounds. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, lovely. That's great. Thank yeah. you. How much are these two, please? Um, yeah, so I bought those, I bought that in San Francisco yeah. when I went to a restaurant there. And then this one, I can't remember where I bought it, um, but I bought it, I bought them both in America. So because of that, um, did you want both? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll say £8 for both because it is quite... Yeah, they are unusual, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and it, that, this one's... Um, I don't know who did this one, but this he handmade, yeah, yeah, put them up and then put it's them together. Good, it? I upcycled it. That's it, yeah, and I just thought it looked really cool because of the word. Yeah. But, yeah, I just don't... It's confused. interesting, isn't it? Yeah. About three pound on each, so six for um, the pair. I think only because of the history for me of them, mm. um, I'll do... Well, I'll do seven. Do seven. Both, do yeah. that then, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank no you. problem. Have you got three? Yeah, of course. Great, thank, thank you. you. One million dollars. Oh yeah, I bought that there <laughs> as well. <laughs> thank you. That's cool. Yeah. It, it kind of tricks you for a second, but not really. <laughs> uh, yeah. If only. How much do you want for it? Oh, um, just, 20p or something right. yeah that's okay I'll, I'll have it yeah <laughs> just for fun <laughs> to go with the other american thing yeah, yeah definitely lovely. thank you thank cheers you. million dollar notes again, that's isn't it isn't it yeah, yeah i'm rich yeah. now i can go home <laughs> retire Is that your price on that? Yeah. Get any movement on it? Did you go to six? I can do it from my entrance, thing for seven. Okay. And that means I've made nothing on it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> Got any other figures or anything? Any other box? Not with me today, no. no. Hmm. It's an interesting one. Go on, kick start me at six quid then. Six quid, go on. All right, I'll take it. Two, three, four, five, six. Appreciate that, thank you. How much is that one, please? A pound, mate. And that? And that one? Same again. So that's two pound. Two pound for that lot. Chuck those other two in for fifty p. There you go. I'll do it. Two pound fifty. There you go. Great stuff. Thank you. There you go. That's a lovely job. That's great. Lovely. Thank thanks. Darling, how much do you want for these two bakers? Both. Hmm. I'll take those two. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, 
Yeah. What about your board game? <laughs> oh, I've got a play. Darling, how much do you want for the board game? Two. Yeah, go on, I'll give it a try. There you go. Lovely job. That's great. Thanks very much. Oh, great. Thank you. What are you doing with all these octonauts? Just leave them. I don't know. Because I don't know what belongs to what. Right, just... No, don't worry. Don't worry. You got them out anyway, have you? Well, most of them. Well, I just sort of put them up a bit higher. People can see no, them. be fine. Oh, okay. What have they got on your on your phone case? Pound, two pound, oh, pound. Pound. There you go. There you go. There's another pound. Lovely job, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How much are these, please? They're three. Three. Do both for a fiver? Yeah. And I've got that as well. No, that's a pound. Six quid. Yeah. Well, you need some again. I know. I just keep seeing more stuff. Your husband just delivered it all to you this morning. I just keep seeing more things. Right. Um. You're all right. Hiya, you okay? Um, to give me that change back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finished yet. I've got to the end of the stall. Oh, well, carry on then. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, four there. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, mate. It should be in it. Future. Well, the rain is so bad. <laughs> How much is that one? They're 50p each. Four of them. Ish, yeah, I think. Until I buy some it to it. <laughs> and that one? Uh, two. two. Okay. That's three pound. Right. <laughs> you need a bigger bag, sir. And I've got, I've made a mistake with the bags because they're all underneath now. So. Oh dear. Never mind. 
three pound. Two. Okay. Three, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How much is there, Max? 50p. This one? Yeah, yeah. One to twenty-five is just not down to twenty-two. Grandfather's own mates in the UK, they're from Norway. Yeah. I'm just wondering what they were. And they're quite old as well. They are quite old. How much are these? They're 50p. 50p. Yeah. <laughs> Slippers? A two. Uh, Lovely, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Come on, I'll take them. I haven't seen other shoes. They're quite unusual. Thank Lovely, you. Lovely, thank you. No, go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't stay. <laughs> well, as you can see, I made a cock up on the bags. I bought so much from one stall that I just ended up chucking them in and now I've lost all my bags. So I'm going to have to sort it all out. How much are your Star Trek bits here? Uh, two pound each, a fiver for all three of them. Um, and there's one more little what bit. What else you got? That's another two quick. Right, I'll uh, catch up with the next one. So you can have How one of them for five. Oh, good morning, a man. Got my new transport. Oh, the motor. The sidecar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it's sidecar so you can buy stuff? Uh, I will, well, <laughs> can't get much. we'll get much in there. <laughs> you keeping all right? Yeah. Keeping busy. Thing, you know. Do four quid for those three? I can't. No. I can't because I think they were five pounds upwards on eBay each. So I could do. I can do. I, I've got to do five, but I can still. I can chuck that one and include it, and it'll still mm. be five. How much are your toys down here, please? How much are your toys? How much are your IKEA ones? Yeah. Do you want to do a deal on all your IKEA ones? Ah, all of them. Mm -hmm. So what are, you, what's, what are you thinking of offering? So which ones have we got? So we've got two there, that one, that one, that one. He's an IKEA as well. He's an IKEA. And That's an Ikea. an Ikea. Is that it? Uh, no, the, no. The little um, giraffe is an Ikea. Uh, the pig, this one here. That's an oh, Ikea. That one. Yeah. Those are. Yeah, that, one one yeah. that one is. Okay. That one is. That one is. That one is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, think, I think you'll find that they are all actually verified Ikea products. Oh, these are as well. Yeah. So, what are we looking at? Um, two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 18, uh, and they put all those in there. Shall we make that 20 for the lot? Deal. At least that will pay them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks very much. I, I haven't got a bag big enough to put It's it. all right, I've got bags here, it's fine. We'll meet you back at HQ and we'll go through everything that we got today. See you in a minute. So let's get straight into everything that we picked up today at Torbay Car Boot Sale. It's all down here. And um, where should we start? Uh, let's see. Let's just start here. Um, I've never picked these up before. And Geddes and Geds Bean Filled Collection. I thought they looked kind of vintagey, um, vintagey retroy, but. To, um, they wanted three pound each. Um, I paid two for five pound, and um, yeah, I knew nothing about it. 
and uh, these I think are going to be worth um, 20 to 25 each um, and it's worth noting actually that every single thing that I've picked up today I have actually bought blind um, just with the knowledge up here I'm not saying I'm a big head because there's going to be some fails as well for sure um, but um, I film with my camera so it's difficult to do checks on the camera um, but also after you've been doing it for a while you kind of get a little inkling if something's going to be worth it or not so um, everything that I picked up today is on just gut instinct there's been no checking at the boot sale today sometimes I do but today no quite a flu a flu quite a few plushies to go through i've not picked him up for a while so i didn't really know what his value was these days um i paid three for it it's probably too much if i'm honest um if, I, I think if i'm lucky i'll get 10 pound back on it um but yeah three pounds probably a little bit too much for uh sven um, I picked up these um, Amsterdam slippers. You might think, Chris, why are you buying Amsterdam slippers? Or clog, they're actually clog slippers, I think. Um, souvenirs, travel souvenirs, actually can be worth picking up. Um, these were £2, and they look like they are brand new in packet. £2, it's a no-brainer. And actually, uh, there's some listed on eBay at this moment. Uh, I think they're around the 20 to 25 pound mark. So that is exactly probably what I will go for on those. These were good. Um, I spotted these two mugs amongst a load of mugs. And they're actually uh, Norwegian. They're from Norway. I don't know if you can see properly. Hopefully you can. But they've got these sort of folk folklore sort of trolls on the... Um, on the mugs uh, Norway Finland Iceland you know the that kind of area of Europe is well known for its troll sort of folklore no. No. each i actually think these are going to be worth somewhere around 15 pound each that's a pretty good pickup for mugs 15 pound each possibly there are some listed on ebay they're all international and they've all got fairly hefty price tags on it's been a while since i picked up ice skates um, but they do generally sell these were five pound they're a size six they are sfr 010 uh, vinyl figure ice skates. Um, I don't think they're anything amazing in the world of ice skating. Not that I actually know anything at all about ice skates. But I do know that um, the old skates can be worth picking up. Um, yeah, it looks like they've been in the box for a long time. £5. They're not worth huge money. A twenty pound, if I can, if I can clean them up nicely, twenty five at a push. But I reckon they should go for twenty. So again, not an amazing. When you pay five pound for something, I, I want to be getting. Not to sound greedy or anything, but because of your fees and costs and time, if I pay five pound for something, I really want to be getting more than twenty for it. Um, but at least, you know, there's a bit of profit in there. I think if I pay £5 for something, really, I want to be getting at least 30 back for it. That's kind of where I'd be aiming. Um, let's see what we've got here. I've got a load more plushies to get go through. Um, this was a bundle. I actually only wanted a couple of these, but the guy kept um, chucking them in and saying, oh, you can have that one for 50 you can have that one for 50p. So in the end... Oh. Where are we? I don't know. In the end, I paid two pounds. <laughs> it's this one. Monsters Inc. 
Um, I paid £2.50 for this bundle of five, so they worked out at 50p each. Um, is that art? I think that's art. Uh, so I've got him, he's a talking hey, one, obviously. Uh, um, I've never picked up one of these, it's from Crudes. It's the sort of saber tooth tiger from Crudes. That was one that I had my eye on just to buy anyway. Um, so remember 50p each on these. Um, a Hamley's toy, sometimes it can be worth it, sometimes it can be a bit of a fail. Uh, this one, this one's tagged, so that's always a bonus. Uh, I probably wouldn't have picked up this Hamleys if it wasn't tagged. Just trying to see if it's anything special, but um, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, Chef, um, he's a little bit dirty, he needs a bit of a clean up, but he's still got his tag. Um, and uh, is that Doug from Up? Yeah, it's Doug, isn't it? And he's a talking one, so I need to test him out. Um, but I think probably £10 each on those three. That one, it's been a while since I sold one of them. 10 to 15 on that, I'm guessing. Um, but Chef could be worth 20 Um In his current condition, he's not perfect, but he is tagged. So for £2.50, there's potentially 50 it could be £50 there. It could be £50. Ah, now this is nice, isn't it? Did you see this one that I picked up? I think this was first or second item that I picked up. It's got £8 on it, but I got it for 6 in the end. Um, I probably would have gone to the 7 that the lady was asking for, but um, because I'm not checking it, um, I, I, I was going on gut instinct, as I said earlier. Um, this is the Beast. It's a nine inch Titans vinyl figure. <laughs> And you don't often see these big nine inch ones or the big titans. The small titans, sometimes they're worth something, sometimes they're not. You have to check those out. But these big ones, definitely worth looking at a bit closer. Um, not a Doctor Who fan, so Gut Instinct said that this is going to be worth more than £6 if I could get it for that. Um, actually, there's some good money on these on eBay. Um, I think I might be able to achieve 40 a lot of them are international at the moment, so that gives me a bit of scope. It gives me a bit of room. Um, and with it still being boxed, it looks... In fact, it's sealed still. It's still sealed. I think I might be able to get 40 for that. So I don't mind paying £6 for something if I can sell it for 40 A couple of Ted Baker... I think you could describe these as laptop or iPad um, bags. Brand new by the looks of it, although not tagged. Um, so these were £1 each. It was from the store that I bought loads of stuff from. I just kept finding stuff. Um, I've got, I think, maybe £20 each on those. And it's a multi-listing as well. Two on the same listing. So that's cool. Now, I can't find this game on eBay. Can't find it. It's called Democracy, uh, the name of the game in the new South Africa. Random, random. Um, I think this was £2. Now, I've yet to check if it's complete, but actually, right now, I have zero idea what this is worth or what I'm going to list it for. I'm not even sure what year it is. It looks like it's probably 80s. No, it's 1994. Um, so it's still vintage. I'm hoping all the pieces are in there. Uh, and then it's going to be a complete stab in the dark, really, I think. Unless I can find it on Google or something. Um, so no clue on that one at the moment. Um, I've quite liked picking up the old brass bits recently. They've been achieving some reasonable money. Um, this is like an Indian brass vase. Often these brass ones, I'm finding that often, I'm not an expert, I'm just finding that they are made in India. Um, which is why I called it, and this one might be Pakistan, is that? Uh, but they sort of come from that area of the world. 
paid three pound for it and i'm thinking 20 to 25. i've sold a few brass bits and pieces lately what else have we got now this is unusual i mean it's not unusual in what it is but it's an ashtray it is solid glass and it is really nice really nice solid i'm not sure what you would describe it as in glassware but it's very very nice there's no chips on it it's really nicely made um it's made by denisley denisley um i think it was one pound i think it was one pound maybe two pound but i think it was one um but again I've got nothing to go off on this. Even with the brand name, there's I can't find anything the same on eBay. So that one is going to be another stab in the dark, unless I can find something on Google. But um, I might even try 30 quid. You know, if I had to just guess right now, I might even try that. A couple of Harry Potter bits and pieces here. Um, a Harry Potter wallet, which in itself is not amazing. It's a pretty standard Harry Potter wallet. It's made by BioWorld, so it's licensed. Um, BioWorld are the company, they make a lot of licensed stuff. They make hats, they make wallets, purses, key rings, that kind of stuff. Um, you see it, a lot of it in like Loot Crate and things like that. Um, I think that was a pound, so maybe 10 on that, 10 pound. And also I picked up from the same stall this Harry Potter, um, brand new phone case what phone is it for it's an iphone 6 plus so it's a big six though that's pretty old if you think now we're on what the iphone 13 but it's a really nice case and actually there are some listed on ebay so i paid one pound for the case there could be £20 in that. Now, you consider it's an iPhone 6 Plus. There probably isn't that many 6s around now. But anyway, there's some listed on eBay around that price. So I'll probably I'll probably go for the same. Now, these were really nice, weren't they? Um, two number plates, one hole and one knot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why in a minute. Um, but this is very, very nice. And I'll just hold it here. Maybe it's a thumbnail. I don't know. Yes, I'm special. Mama says I'm special. It's from Forrest Gump, obviously, Bubba Gump Shrimp. I love that film. And um, this is destined to go in my collection. It was £7 for the two, so I, I kind of paid up for these, but I can't, there's no way in this world I can leave that behind. Um, that's definitely coming with me, and it'll probably stay in my collection. If I was going to sell it, these are actually going for fairly decent money. I could probably get 20 to 25 pound on that one, but this one's interesting. This is like a an upcycled um, sort of handmade thing, and it's lots of different number plates chopped up, all the letters all chopped up, and then mounted on this piece of plywood. And it's got 2012 with like, a signature. I don't know if that's significant for the artist. Um, but it's got a tag on it as well. And originally this was $46.99 for this piece of artwork, as you might call it. And it was from RP's Stage Shop. Made with pieces of license plate vintage. Um, but yeah, I think that's really cool. And um, there's some similar things on eBay. What did I have down on this? Um, I think I think this could achieve thirty pound. And to like the naked eye, you think you know it's probably a bit of junk, but I think it's really nice. And the fact that it spells out freedom is quite a nice thing as well, with the signature on the back. Whatever that means, I'm not sure. Um, or whoever it is, I'm not sure. Thirty quid would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, I've got a couple, I'll save them for just a minute because I bought a big bundle of Ikea plushes. So we'll do them all in one go. What else have I got in here? 
Um, I got some DVDs. Now, these were, um, I got these four for £1.50 and really they were for me. And I got that one just on the off chance it was worth something. It's not. It's worth about four quid. I don't know what it is. It's Road Rage. It's got some Road Rage 2004. I'm not sure what it is, um, but I just thought it's an old style DVD case. Um, music related by the looks of it. No clue. Um, it's not really worth it, but I only I got these DVDs for me because I collect the Tartan DVD collection. The these Tartan ones, as you can see on the top, I collect those. You can always tell them from the side. I do like picking those up. I've got quite a lot of them. And um, that's the other one. And uh, the shining on Blu-ray for my own collection. So yeah, that was that's pretty much staying with me. Um, a couple of glasses. Um, these these are really nice looking pint glasses. San Miguel 130 year celebration glasses. Uh, one pound for the pair, 50p each. 50p each, yeah. And um, these these maybe 15 to 20 pound for the pair. I'll keep them together. Not a bad little pickup. Here's something that I know somebody might might like. Um, it's some Star Trek stuff. Now, I didn't really want to pay £5 for this bundle, um, but the guy was insistent that this is thrown in for the £5. I didn't really want that, but because it, it's not in great condition, but it could work, work out well. I don't know the value on these at all. I haven't checked them. Star Trek, the adventure keychain there. What year is that? No clue. Don't know. Keychain, what's this? This is like a keychain with a light on the end, but battery's gone by the looks. Battery gone? Yeah. Um, that one, and this little pin badge, another one, Star Trek Adventure pin badge. And then obviously that thing badge, which I'm not sure what it does, if it makes a sound or it lights up or something. Oh, is it, an in, is it the intercom thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm not the world's biggest Star Trek. But five quid a pair for the... A pair? I paid for the bundle. I'm not sure on the value of it. Um, this barometer... Uh, barometers can be good to pick up if you've not looked at them in the past. But I tend to look, look for ones that are a little bit more unusual looking so that... You know, you've got a bit of a chance of maybe being the only one on eBay with it. Um, there's lots of standard looking barometers and they can be worth money, but I tend to go for the ones that look a bit different. That's just me. Um, and I picked up this one. It was £4. And I just like the whole ornate thing that's going on around here. I just think it looked very unusual. I've not seen one like that. I'm sure there are plenty about. Um, cost me four. I think, I think I'm going to aim around 20 pound on that um i thought it might be worth a bit more but 20 we're on the, the edge there of what's what's good um i've never seen this thomas the tank engine collection before it's a book set um never seen this set before one pound fifty uh I, I don't think it's worth huge money 10 to 12 pound uh, on those now, here's something that I might need your help on. Um, I picked up this Pokemon backpack, and it's pretty much brand new. I don't think this has been used. The lady said it was brand new, and I tend to believe her looking at the, you know, things like the straps and that are normally very, very worn. They wear inside, but this is absolutely immaculate. Um, she wanted £6. I paid 5 for it, um, but I really, really liked the sort of 3D plastic design on the back which looks really cool the only thing i can't find is a brand on it i can't find who made it and i can't find a tag um which is a shame really because i would have liked to have seen a tag on it that said i'm sure it's going to be worth more than five it's a quality bag it's not a cheap one it's not a cheap sort of crappy bag that you can get you know a cheap crappy license thing Ten a penny. This one feels like it's a bit better than your average. It could even be from 
90s, I don't know. Um, 90s, 2000s maybe. Let me know what you think of the bag. What do you think it's worth? What era is it from? Is it recent? Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. I just liked it and it was in perfect condition. For £5, I'm hoping that um, my money is safe on that. Right, okay, let's move over to the Ikea plushes. I paid £20 and I got 15 Ikea plushes. And the guy was asking sort of two quid each and one of them he was asking a bit more than that, maybe five, six pound, the big elephant. Um, so I got this, I've never seen this one before. Um, this this caterpillar thing. Can't, I can't even read the names because they're all weird names, aren't they? Um, so I'll just rattle through them. The caterpillar thing, the elephant, which I'll just sit there for a minute. Um, another caterpillar thing, panda, an octopus, uh, another panda, is that the same panda as the last one? Um, what's this one? Is that a dog? Uh, a couple of little piggies, little ones. Um, a rabbit. cool it's like a an eagle um, a couple of puppets I've not seen the puppets before but these are hand puppets Ikea again uh, a pussy that's called a lat latjo um, and then this little little giraffe's head baby toy rattle that's called a clapper. So um, if you want to, you could buy that and give your give your child the clapper. So I paid um, twenty pound for that bundle of fifteen. I think it was fifteen uh, IKEA plushes. Now, just to give it some context, I think elephant here, the elephant in the room. He could be worth £30 on his own. Going to be a... It shouldn't be too bad to post because I can squish him up in a bag. So it should be a piece of cake, really, to post. Um, but yeah, so money back with him. The rest is all profit. Uh, and that is almost... Oh, now then, you might have seen the title, the thumbnail, whatever. Um... Today's boot sale, I found gold. I struck gold. gold. Let me show you this. Um, I picked this up. I just think it's absolutely amazing. I've never picked anything like this up before. It was, I think it was two pound. It might have even been one. Um, I can't remember now. I'd have to check the video, but it was one or two pound. And it's a boxed, Rose, but it's not just any rose, it's pure 24 karat um, gold. Um, and you know what this is? Yes, it's a rose, I get you. There's a real rose in here and it's dipped. There's a real rose and it has been dipped in 24 karat pure gold. And it weighs about seven grams. Uh, according to the thing, there's an authenticity leaflet and everything. Um, now, I think if I think if I'm going to resell it, it's going to be worth thirty to forty pound. But you'd think it'd be worth more than that, wouldn't you? Because twenty four karat gold is the purest gold that you can get, and I know this because I've done some research on it. I didn't really know before much about gold. Twenty four karat is the best quality gold, but 24 karat gold is also the softest. So there's not much you can do with it. Like you can't make rings out of 24 karat gold because they just bend and scratch and everything. Um, that's why rings and things are made out of 9, 14 and 18 karat gold. Um, but this is 99.99% .99 gold. So it's the purest and it's often used for um, decoration um, jewellery in the Far East, like Thailand, China, 
um, like decorative decorative jewellery, like maybe wedding jewellery and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's my little bit of research and stuff I didn't know, but this is the purest of pure gold. And you would think that that would be worth more than 30 to 40 pound on eBay. Because at the end of the day, surely you you could melt that down and obviously get rid of the flour that's inside, that's still inside this encased. You could get rid of that, melt it down and then weigh it in, couldn't you? I don't know what the current rate of of price of 24 karat gold is, but I don't know. It just surprised me when I was doing my research on this that, that it was only really worth 30 to 40 pound. But I paid one or two pound for it. So there's good money in it. But I just thought it was fascinating. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? I just can't believe there's an actual rose inside it. Look. It's just gorgeous, that. Very nice. So that was my striking gold at the boot sale, little ditty. I can finally say it. I'm a boot sale millionaire. Here it is. You probably saw it on the video. Um, it's actually a pretty good, um, it's pretty good sort of replica dollar bill. It's one million dollars. One million dollars. One million dollars. There it is. I'm a boot sale millionaire. That's it. I don't have to do any more work. Wouldn't that be nice? No more boots. I probably would actually. I'd probably still go to the boot sales. I'd probably still go booting. Even if I was a millionaire. No, I wouldn't, would I? I'd be on a beach somewhere or somewhere abroad. I'm, I'm fantasising now over this. It cost me 20p. I just thought, you know what? Just for a bit of fun, it might make a good sort of title for the video. Uh, 20p. I paid 20p for $1 million. $1 million. That is everything. I spent £81.70p today. Um, and I think I did pretty well. Let us know what you think in the video. I hope you enjoyed it today. And um, we'll see you again on the next one. Hit that thumbs up and don't forget to sub so you don't miss a live show. See you later, everyone. Take care. Happy sales.